What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and in this video I'll be going over the best heroes and the best villains in Star Wars Battlefront 2. And of course this is just my opinion, I th honestly think a lot of the heroes and villains can be super good if you do play them correctly. And also to note, this is simply in Heroes vs Villains, this is not in Capital Supremacy or Galactic Assault or any other game modes, so this is just simply based on if you're playing Heroes vs Villains because a lot of different abilities are a lot better better depending on what game mode you are playing. And also one thing to note, I am going to include at least one shooter in each of these, but in, these are going to be the top three heroes and the top three villains. And they're going to be two heroes or villains with lightsabers and then one shooter as well. And these aren't necessarily ranked, but they are the best three, so I didn't necessarily put one above the other because a lot of them were pretty close and it just depends how you want to play. But getting into the video, so the first hero I'm going to be talking about is going to be Han Solo. And why I like Han a lot is just honestly because I, I didn't originally use him too much. He wasn't my favorite shooter. And then once they started releasing a couple updates, I did notice that Han Solo was able to absolutely mow down people. So with a shooter hero or a villain in this game, you kind of want three things to be good with them. Uh, you don't want them to have terribly low health. You obviously want them to be good at range, so you want their blaster to be good in one way or another or be able to upgrade it and make it better then you also want to have an explosive and be good at short range and han solo is just simply good at all three of those things so with his one ability with his shoulder charge this ability is very good and in my opinion it's one of the best short range abilities out of any shooter hero or villain in this game and then he also has his explosive detonator which is really really good as well and again in my opinion is one of the best to use in the game out of heroes or villains in terms of explosives and also his second or his uh, main ability of doing his blaster is just simply good as well so han solo is good at range he's good at close combat battles but i will note his shoulder ability can really only affect one villain at a time so if there are multiple villains around you you definitely will need to use all three of your abilities and hope that they are recharged in time because if they're just simply just four guys coming at you with lightsabers you're not going to be in a very good situation but of course this is four on four not four on one so that is important to note as well going on to the second hero that i'll be talking about and again this isn't actually in any particular order, is going to be Yoda. So Yoda, in my opinion, is good in both game modes, heroes versus villains, and just really any other game mode you'll be playing that you can get a hero upgraded to Yoda. And why Yoda is so good is just simply because his abilities are good, he has the ability to recharge, his block stamina is really good as well, and he's just kind of hard to hit. So especially when you're playing Capital Supremacy, not that this video is about this, but Yoda's my favorite hero in those game modes because he's so hard to hit and he has the ability to heal himself. But as a hero, if you don't have a lot of health, or even if you do have a lot of health, because some um, villains and heroes, in my opinion, are, should use a buff or should use a nerf in some of these categories, but Yoda is really good because he is able to heal himself and others around him. So in my opinion, that ability alone just makes a hero very overpowered because you could just keep going on and on and go through major, major killstreaks without dying because of this which makes Yoda very good. And then also Yoda's really good because I do like his lightsaber strike. It does allow you to go through people and also Yoda's really, really good at getting behind people. So it's very easy for a hero to simply just spam the block button when you're trying to go one-on-one -on -one with them. But Yoda is one of the best heroes at actually getting behind a villain and then actually hitting them from behind, either using his lightsaber strike or just simply striking at them and just dodging until you get behind them because most heroes only have two dodges and Yoda is able to get behind them but they can block for a whole lot longer which can be very very annoying and very tiresome to just wait for them to not stop or for them to stop blocking and then moving on to our next hero and in my opinion probably the best one because he just simply is so overpowered is going to be Anakin Skywalker so with Anakin Skywalker, Anakin is just simply one of the best ones in this game in the most recent updates. He has a ton of health, which makes him super, super good. Uh, he also just simply uh, is just really good at lightsaber combat battle. He has a really high damage output with his lightsaber. Um, he does swing relatively quick, and overall his abilities are just really, really good. The pull dominus, heroic might, as well as passionate strike, just all of them are really good. 
Anakin, especially in Capital Supremacy and Galactic Assault, can pretty much just wipe out an entire room very, very easily. If you do use his moves one after another, if you do pull them in and then strike them out, it just simply wipes out half a hero's health in one hit without even moving your lightsaber an inch. So those moves alone make Anakin very, very good. And then honestly, Anakin just has way too much health. I think if they were, I mean, I do understand why he is the best hero because he, you know, really was the best hero in the prequel, so it kind of does make sense to do that, but um, in my opinion, Anakin is just simply too overpowered in this. He, he just has too much health, and I do actually find it relatively hard to play as Anakin because pretty much everyone scoops him up as soon as the game starts, so it is kind of annoying as well. And kind of one thing to take into consideration too, because uh, typically most people take Anakin, and then they probably take Obi-Wan, Luke Skywalker, as well as their first choices, and then shooters. Um, pretty much Han Solo is always the first to go as well on the light side, so I think that is important to think about too because it can be really annoying if you're maining Anakin and you just play six games in a row and aren't able to play as him. But other than that, moving on to the next half of the video, so the ne next half of the video is going to be the dark side. So in, I'm going to go one shooter and two lightsaber wielders as well for this one. So. Coming in at, in my opinion, and again, this is my opinion, I'm sure a lot of people might not agree with this, the best shooter in Heroes vs. Villains is going to be Captain Phasma. So there are a couple of shooters. I think all the shooters, honestly, on the dark side are pretty solid, uh, besides Aiden Versio. So if we look at Boba Fett and Bosk, I actually think they're really good as well, and two I like to play with. But Captain Phasma, in my opinion, is better for a handful of reasons. So with Captain Phasma's powers, it's a little bit different than when I was talking about Han Solo because her powers aren't exactly the same where you have a good explosive, a good shooter, and then a good close range. But with Captain Phasma, she does have a pretty solid close range with her stick that she pulls out, or her baton, whatever you want to call it. And in my opinion, that one is pretty good if you do upgrade a card, but it can feel like a waste of a card just simply upgrading that power, which you might not actually use a lot. And then her main ability does allow you to heal yourself, which can be really, really good, as well as just simply Simply buffing other players around you and then her last ability which in my opinion makes it her best ability and really puts her ahead of other villain shooters is her little droid that she does set out that shoots if you're in its range and it also shocks you if you get close to it so one really annoying thing when you are playing Captain Phasma is that a lot of times you just simply camp and I don't necessarily suggest camping because it's just not really a fun way to play but a probably better way to play is to see where most of the fighting's going on and just set that droid right in the middle of it. You don't have to sit in the middle of it. You can even go fall back and shoot from range, do whatever you want, but that droid is very, really good. It's almost impossible to destroy if you are a Jedi because every time you get close to it, it shocks you and by the time you get unshocked, you're likely getting mowed down by another shooter or by the droid itself or someone around you and it's just overall really good the blaster on it isn't that good that blaster isn't anything special um, I don't really like it I don't really see it doing a whole lot of damage honestly but it is nice to have that as well and just honestly she's just really really good at just jumping right in the middle of the battle setting down that droid and just completely switching what's going on in most cases when you're playing heroes vs villains you're really not moving a whole whole lot you're usually sitting in one or two main areas that most of the fighting is going on so it's not necessarily camping as much as just sitting in the middle with everyone else moving on to the next dark side villain is going to be kylo ren so when kylo ren when the game first came out kylo ren was really really bad but now he's actually really good so Kylo Ren, in my opinion, is one of the better dark side villains, and there are definitely some other ones that can go on this list as well, like in my opinion, Darth Maul and Count Dooku are also very good, but I do think that Kylo Ren beats them out. So with Kylo, his abilities are, real, are all really good. He has a decent amount of health. He is pretty agile as well, and just his abilities aren't necessarily the best, but they can be quite good. So in my opinion, his main ability, Frenzy, is really, really good because it does go through blocks. So with this ability, Kylo Ren is able to go through Jedi's blocks, which can be very, very useful, as well as his other two abilities. Um, I like the pull one, but it is relatively easy to block, and it doesn't have a super large area, unlike Anakin's pull. And then also, if we look at his other ability which sort of freezes them this is a very good ability as well if you are able to hit it but again this is an easier one to block in my opinion 
And then last but not least on the villain side is going to be Darth Vader. So with Darth Vader, I mean Darth Vader in my opinion is just very very overpowered, very similar to Anakin. So I don't know if that was on purpose or they did it, you know, they didn't mean to make him overpowered like that. But Anakin, so young Darth Vader, and then Darth Vader himself in my opinion are definitely the best two in this game. So I know I said I wasn't going to rank them, but they just simply are. But I will also note, like I was saying with Anakin, it's almost difficult to get Darth Vader because pretty much every time you join a Heroes vs. Villains, if you're the heroes, someone's almost always Anakin. And if you're the villain, someone is almost always Darth Vader. So it can be annoying playing six games in a row and not being able to be your main hero. But either way, Vader is super good. His powers are very overpowered, he has way, way too much health, and he even has the ability to give himself more health, which is just way, way too overpowered for a hero that was already really good and already had a lot of base health. Darth Vader is not very agile, but somewhat similar to General Grievous, I guess. He does a lot of damage, even though he's not able to move around a whole lot. Um, his abilities are really good. Force Choke can be one of the most annoying abilities in the game if you're playing against him, but it is very, very good. His lightsaber throw is good as well well and just overall he does good from range he does up good from up close he's just a really really good hero overall but other than that guys that's really it for this video so for the light side i had han solo anakin skywalker as well as yoda then for the dark side i had captain phasma kylo ren and darth vader and again these are just my opinions uh, i have my reasons for them i shared them with you but there definitely are a lot of other good heroes and villains I, I really like all of them. There's not really one hero or one villain I hate or like think is absolutely terrible. I've played as all of them. I've got them all leveled up a little bit so I could try some of their cards. And overall, this is just my opinion of who are the best. But other than that, that's it for this video. So if you did enjoy, definitely feel free to leave a like and also comment below what your favorite hero and villains are. And also, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.